Dover was growing old, and soon he would be forced to relinquish his position as the head huntsman. His damaged knees made walking and climbing a difficult and painful job. Although Lee, Will had never said so, Leah knew Will wanted Dover's job, which was a prestigious one in the settlement. Ordinary slaves like herself were usually sold for around 130 Jamaican pounds, but a huntsman like Dover was worth as much as 500 British pounds, or so she'd heard. Huntsmen were treated well, for the owner of a good mahogany huntsman would not want him to reveal where new stands of mahogany had been seen and secretly lead a more generous paymaster to the spot. The British settlers' wealth was in slaves because Spain's claim to the entire area did not permit the British to own land, establish estates, or build fortifications. She glanced at Will, whose gaze still lingered on the young, youngest deaf mute. Like his father and brother, he wore a dark shirt, braces, and loose black trousers that were patched in several places. 